Hello everyone and welcome to Brazil for the penultimate race, I believe, of this uh, series. Uh, unfortunately, I accidentally lost my practice footage, so we're starting straight from qualifying, which I'm sure you're all perfectly okay with anyway. So we're going to see what we can do as we head out onto the circuit here. What the hell is going on here? Liuzzi, we've gone through Liuzzi, but here we go. We're going to start our flying lap. We've already put one time in. We're actually already at the top of the time, so we're going to see if we can improve on our 1 minute 11.384. And this is uh, quite nice so far. Cut the corner very slightly. In fact, that is, uh, that's is—that's not very nice at all, is it? But uh, we've got through pretty much unscathed. Coming down the straight here, which is, I believe, a DRS straight in the modern day, but it's not back here. We're two tenths up, and we've missed that apex. To be honest, this is a pretty shite lap so far. I don't know how we're two tenths up. But uh, we're going to see what we can do coming through the middle sector now, which is, of course, the hardest sector here, because it's the twisty, tight, turny one. Uh, those of you who know Sao Paulo will know that. Those of you who don't will not, which is why I said it. Okay, then. That's a beautifully hit apex there on the left-hand side. Oh, sorry, on the right-hand side. We go through the left-hander now. We've hit that apex quite nicely, too. Um, coming through sort of the penultimate turn of this section. I quite like the word penultimate today, don't I? Penultimate. Anyway, coming through the second sector, we're going to see if we're up on our previous time. We still are, but barely. We're not even a tenth up on our previous time. So to really improve, we're going to have to make this a beast of a straight, which is quite difficult, seeing as all you do is hold the button. I suppose if you get the line a bit better, then you can improve. Are we going to improve on our 1 minute 11.384, though? We're going to find out. Yes, we are. 1 minute 11.364. 0.02. Two hundredths of a second in it. And what the fuck was that? But uh, that should be enough to guarantee us pole position. And so it is. By about three tenths, we've claimed pole position here in Brazil above Vettel, Hamilton and Button. Weber's languishing down there in fifth, which doesn't bode well for his championship hopes. He's really got to try and beat Hamilton fair and square in this race he's, if he's to have any chance going into the final race of the season. We're going to see what happens, though. Uh, let's have a look at the rest of the grid, see how they do. It's pretty much... I mean, Kabash is up there in 14th. Pretty standard, really. And on to the race, straight away. The boss wants another point to finish out here this weekend. Give it your best shot. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to deliver that from Paul. We've got four lights, five lights. And we're away. It's a half-decent start, but uh, Vettel's going to take us straight off the line. And we're immediately down in second place, although we've got the inside line going to turn one. And we've taken that pretty nicely. And if you look down at the map, we've left the entire grid for dead. I don't quite know how we've done that. They're all just slow round turn one, apparently. Oh, Lewis Hamilton's gone. Lewis Hamilton. He's, he's spun out. We're going to see what happened here. He just went wide, look. Just, just got caught on the curb, and as he tried to accelerate, just span out. No one touched him. Had nothing to do with me. Had nothing to do with, I think that's Vettel in third place. Just, he got, he, he took the wrong line, went wide, and spat out on the curb as he tried to get going. So, that's Hamilton out the race, really. And I've gone a bit wide here on lap five. Yeah, it took till lap five for anything to happen. It's been pretty boring so far, this race. But Webber is chasing me down, and I've just gone wide. A little bit uh, under the pressure there. We're going to see, hopefully, if I can hold on to this coming into lap six now. And breaking for the first corner. And I've gone wide again. That is a horrific turn one. And yeah, but where has Button come from? Where on earth has Button come from? Right, we're going to have a look at this again. If you just look over on the right-hand side there, Button takes Weber up the inside. And then, well, I went wide, so it was, wasn't, you know, hard for him to take me as well. So, yeah. So I hold on to second place, but if I keep going wide like this, like I have at the end of the straight, now Weber's got a chance to take me to position two, and I've lost two positions in two corners, really. This isn't very good at all. But we're going to try and hold on to our position back up the inside. I've completely almost barged him off the track, but he saw it coming and takes me back up the inside, and I'm down to position three now. This is not very good. Now I'm under pressure from Sebastian Vettel. Look at that front right tyre. So damaged now. I really need to come to the pits at some point soon. 
Otherwise, I'm going to have completely off the cliff tyres. My well, front right already is off the cliff because you use it so much around this track. But I've kind of held on to position three so far and hopefully we'll be coming into the pits pretty soon. Right, here we are. End of lap seven, coming into the pits. I gave it one more lap, but now look at the tyres. I have no choice. I have to come into the pits. We're going to get the options on. Hopefully, it's a good stop, although there's a lot of people in the pits, so hopefully we can get out before we get held up. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Can we at least beat the Ferrari out? Are you fucking with me? 13.154 seconds. I think that's the worst stop of my life. That is the worst stop of my life. And now I'm down in position 21, and I've got a lot of catching up to do. Even Lewis Hamilton is, is, is ahead of me at the moment. Hopefully we can at least beat him out. Has to be a good outlap, this. Here we go, Michael Schumacher. We're battling in for 17th, but crucially, Hamilton, who, got, who spun himself out at the start of the race, has actually come out of his pit stop ahead of us. That's how much we got held up in the pits, and we've gone wide there and allowed Schumacher straight back up our inside. But this is bad news for both myself and Mark Webber. Hamilton might, fi might find himself back up in the points soon after Webber had a great chance to make some decent inroads going into the final race. But uh, yeah, not much I could do when it's a pit stop as bad as it was. Oh, hello. There's some trouble up here, and I've got I'm right on the back of Felipe Massa. Jensen Button's right in front of him. We've got a lot of fast cars. Langswing down here, just outside the points and just inside the points. Button is next up on the road. Take this. We're going to dive up his inside there, and that's a great overtake. And up next on our list is Fernando Alonso for the first points position in P10. Here we go. We've got a run on Fernando Alonso going up, and now I'm not the only one making a move. Hamilton makes a move on Yano Trulli right in front of me. Let's get a replay of that because that is going to be a fantastic sight to see. That is a double overtake in terms of two overtakes happening in one corner. Four different cars involved. Look at that. That is a fantastic sight to see. It's not often you see that in real F1. We just slow it down here. You've got Hamilton going up the inside of Trulli, myself going up the inside of Fernando Alonso. And that's just a great sight to look at. Two overtakes happening in one corner. That's just fantastic racing right there. I really wish stuff like this would happen more in real life. Some of the viewers might come back. They're making much more exciting. But there we go. Double overtake into one corner. And just as I thought I was catching up to Lewis Hamilton, he continues to put a car in between himself and I. So Yano truly shouldn't actually be too difficult to get past. He's only in the cater room. And sure enough, we go right round his inside, uh, sorry, outside into the next corner. And Hamilton is our next target in this race. And hopefully we can get past him sooner rather than later. Seven laps to go. And it shouldn't be too difficult, providing I maintain this pace. In first place. A few people in the pits, but I'm, I've got to say, Hamilton is pulling away now that he's in clear air. And uh, I'm not 100% sure I'm going to... Oh, what was that for a corner? I'm not 100% sure I'm going to be able to overtake him. Hamilton's given it some. He's just posted the fastest lap of the race. Fastest lap of the race for Hamilton, and I'm pretty sure my chase for fifth place now is, is over. It's not, it's not going to happen, lads. He's just too quick for us today. Far too quick. He's got now. He's got clear air. Hold on. 2.8. Guys, we made some inroads on that. We made some inroads on that lap. We're going to see what the gap is after this first sector. Oh, hello. That's only two and a half seconds. Guys, we're making inroads. He's slowing down towards the end of the race. We could be on for this. We actually could be on for this if he keeps slowing down at this rate. See what we can do during this lap. Coming on to lap 20. Three tenths up on our best so far, nearly four tenths. 2.8 again, so I've maintained the gap. I haven't actually caught up with him. And again, I seem to be able to catch up on him through this first sector more than any other. But through the other two sectors, he pulls away again, and he's kind of negated, you know, the inroads I made. Here's the gap again. It's now down to 2.3. So he can catch up on him quite a lot in this first sector. I can see his car just in the distance over there, and he's... He is a bit slower again this lap. Just round the corner here. Are we going to catch up on him before the end of the race? We're going to give it our best shot. Weber is in first place. Hamilton is in fifth place. So at the moment, Weber's, you know, still gaining some decent points on Hamilton. And there's a Renault out. Vitaly Petrov has spun out. And uh, we're going to see if we can find out what happened to him. Although I'm not sure we can. 
No. Unfortunately, we can't actually see what happened to him there, so uh, that's a shame. But Vitaly Petrov has spun out, which promotes us to fifth place, promotes Hamilton to fourth, and we're actually nearly half a second up on our best lap again. And he's right, he's literally, he's less than a second ahead of us going into the last lap. If we, could ca if we can't continue catching up with him at this pace, we could be on for overtaking Hamilton before the end of the race. Just got to give it our all this lap. Half a second up on our best. Brilliant. But unfortunately, we couldn't catch him, guys. We couldn't catch him. Fifth place. It is. I'm happy with that. Really, after the god-awful pit stop we had, Hamilton will be even happier after his spin-out earlier on. So, Hamilton gets 12, uh, 12 points. Webber gets 25 points. Doesn't really matter where I finish at this point because the title is between Hamilton and Webber. Weber gains a solid 15 points. Not quite, 13 points, my bad. A solid 13 points on Hamilton. We're gonna see what that does in a minute to the championship table. Weber has certainly given himself a good shout here. So yeah, it's 10 points in it. So if my maths is correct, Weber must win the next race and Hamilton, if that's the case, must stay off the podium. The only other options really are for Weber to come at least, say, fourth, and Hamilton to finish out the points. But that's uh, that's the best case scenario for Weber. So, Weber's still got a shout for the race, and there's the constructors standings, if anyone cares. Yeah, Weber's still in with a shout, but he's really got to drive hard and get some luck. Yep, interview. Well, this obviously wasn't your year for winning a title. Do you have any thoughts on that? Not really. I believe so. I just wish the pit stop wasn't so shite. Yeah, I haven't. I, I really, I honestly, I haven't done that. That's not happening at all. Hey Ben, there's some good news waiting for you on the laptop. Franz Tost dropped off a contract earlier. All right then, so that has been race 18 of this championship. It's down to the wire between Hamilton and Weber, and we'll see next time who wins it. Our championship is basically over. We're just uh, driving for pride now. But thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. If you're new, if you didn't like it, feel free to do whatever you want. And um, yeah, thank you for watching, and I shall see you in Abu Dhabi next time.